Hello again, Year 3. This is the final lesson of Week 1 in Topic. And once again, we're going to be continuing the theme of light and our science lessons. And this lesson is all about reflecting light, light and dark. So we're going to look at doing an investigation to test materials to discover which are the most reflective. Um, so a chance to explain reflection, carry out an investigation and see which materials are most relevant. Right, first thing I want you to do is to write down this address. And this is a, a video clip and I want you to watch the video clip. Um, and whilst you're watching it, think about what does it look like if material reflects light well? Which colours do you think reflect light well and why? And what are mat reflective materials really useful for? So I want you to now pause this video and see if you can watch this BBC clip and think about those questions and then come back to me. Right, welcome back. I hope that was good. Um, so light, we know, travels in a straight line. When a light hits an object, it's reflected or bounced off. Um, and it's the reflective light that when it hits our eyes, enables us to see the object. So if you look at the diagram below from the torch, the torch light bounces off the object and then it reflects back up into our eyes. And that's why we can then see the object. So light traveling in a straight line bounces from a light source, from a surface, into our eyes and enables us to see things. In our investigation, the first thing we've got to do is make a reflective reflection tester. To do this, you'll need a piece of white card and a torch. You cut a small hole in the piece of white card. You can see this is a three piece of one I've done earlier. And then you put the torch through the hole so that your tester looks something like that. It's best when you are testing to actually do this in a room maybe with the lights off with uh, the curtains drawn because obviously the darker it is the easier it will be to see the reflection um, what you do then is you shine the torch at the material being reflected uh, tested and see if the light bounces off the material um, and back on and if it does it will do that so you'll be able to see the light reflected on the white sheet i've got a couple of items here i'll show you with so the first thing would be those of you who joined the last lesson will know this was the pillowcase. So we can see if we reflect the light onto the pillowcase, it does reflect light back a little bit, but not a huge amount. So we know that then this material isn't that reflective, even though it's quite light. Um, if you watch my shield video, you will know what this is. This is actually a heater shield. And as you can see, it's a medieval shield. It is actually quite shiny. So this really should reflect light really well. So when we hold it up, you can see that the light reflects back onto the card and it lights the card up really well. So what I want you to do is to make your light tester, reflection tester, and carry out an experiment or an investigation on various products. Here's a list of things you could test, maybe a CD, paper, tinfoil, bubble wrap, fabric, cardboard, metal, glass, or any other items you want to test. And I want you to think about how reflective they are by looking at how much light reflects back onto your white piece of card. If you write down your results, um, then you can share them with us by adding them to, uh, get, getting someone to add them to tapestry, maybe on an adult to, to load them up to tapestry, take a photograph of them, or maybe you could load them up to uh, the TLAP Facebook page and we can see your work from there. So let's see what, and you'll also therefore be able to see what other people have done as well. So that's the investigation. Good luck. I hope you enjoy it. Um, some surfaces obviously reflect light much better than others. Um, we can see from my brief experiment that the cloth wasn't as particularly good at reflecting light as the metal shield. Um, so reflective materials can be really, really useful. Reflective strips on coats, etc., enable you to be seen at night. Uh, they're particularly useful for people like firefighters who may have to work in the dark or the emergency services because um, street lights or lights from cars reflect off them and you can really see people very clearly. Similarly with cat size, if you were driving, you're driving along uh, at night, the cat size um, don't have any light in them, but they do reflect the light from your headlights back into the car so that you can actually see where you're going, see where the road is. Um, Mirrors as well reflect light back, so they're very useful to a driver because you can see what's behind you and what's around you as you're driving. So mirrors really are very, very good reflectors, probably the best we've got. 
um, retro reflectors are used in road signs. When you're driving around at night, not only are the colours um, very clear, but when you're driving at night, the road signs seem to light up, bright up, and that's because they're really good at reflecting light back so you can actually read them. Can you think of any other uses for reflectors? Maybe if you can, you could add them to your notes when you upload them to Tapestry. I'd be really happy to see what you're doing. All right, now your task. The brilliant bag company want you to make a new bag for the children to use to carry their things to school, to and from school. And obviously, um, in winter, it gets quite dark when you leave school. So they want it to be able to reflect um, oncoming vehicles to, so that people can see the children and keep you safe. So they want you to help them choose the best material for the bag and the reflective strip. And uh, they want you to design a reflective bag to enable that to happen. Look at the results of your scientific investigation. <clears throat> what materials do you think are best for the bag? And I want you to design and label your bag. Um, make sure you use your experiment and let's see what you come up with. <coughs> your bag outline could look something like this. Remember to share your work on Tapestry or the TLAP Facebook. So draw out your bag, put the design on, tell us, label it, tell us what materials you're going to be using, what colours you're going to be using, and uh, let's see if you can come up with the very best idea. Finally, I want you to think about um, reflective materials. What makes them similar? Um, uh, materials that are very good reflectors. What, what properties do they have? What, what similarities do they have? How do they feel? And how are they different from materials that don't reflect very well? Think about that and we'll come back to even more light and dark experiments and investigations next week as we continue our topic of light. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.